Lady Mira, Now, the Princess Trust Achiever of the Year Award celebrates individuals who haven't just turned their own lives around, but are making real difference to others. To tell us more, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, it uh, gives me great pleasure once again to support the Pride of Britain Awards, which celebrate some truly remarkable individuals. The men, women and children who triumph at these awards are drawn from every corner of the country, but the one thing they have in common is a phenomenal ability to make a real difference to other people and their communities. Over the years, uh, I've been fortunate to meet countless young people who have achieved success despite having the odds stacked against them. Clifford Harding from Birmingham is one such young person, and I'm really delighted and proud to announce that he is this year's winner of the Prince's Trust Achiever of the Year Award. He's excited, funny and clever. He makes people happy. He inspires our children at Green Meadow to do the very best they can. But when Clifford was growing up in one of the most deprived areas of Birmingham, life had a very different vibe. The environment I grew up in was very ghetto, very rough. There's gang crime, drugs, um, gun-related like shootings and whatnot. Aged just 19, Clifford found himself jobless with no permanent home. The people closest to him, his mum and grandparents, had died in quick succession, and he went completely off the rails. We used to go and take car stereos out of people's uh, cars, angling stolen goods. I did things what I wasn't proud of. After nine years of petty crime and claiming benefits, one day, Clifford's dole check didn't come through. And I was upset. I was literally mad. And then I walked out, I was like, why am I mad? Because at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're helping me. So I think it was a wake-up call to say, you know what, is this what life is? And that was the day when I signed off. A lot of people who I know are either dead in jail or on drugs. For me, that's not an option. After that, I started to just do research on things and find out, could I get a job? And then um, somebody told me about the Prince's Trust. And I think that's where my life changed. Clifford came up with a business plan and persuaded the Prince's Trust to award him a grant to start a children's entertainment company. But he wasn't satisfied with just playing games. He wanted to give young people the opportunities he never had. A child came to me and says to me, what's eight times eight? I said, I don't know. I went home, I asked my son what eight times eight is. My son said he doesn't know. So I was like, I can make times tables cool. I can make times tables cool, 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 cool. And that's exactly what he did. Cue the birth of the tunes times tables. Two times eight is 16. Two times eight is 16. Always keep your bedroom clean. Always keep your bedroom clean. 10 times 70 is 70. 10 times 70 is 70. Can you feel that energy? Can you feel that energy? Clifford has taken his unique teaching method countrywide. He works in schools and with parents, inspiring thousands of children, some as young as four. Our children um, have learnt their times tables quicker and they actually have remembered them. So it's helped them in a skill, a mental math skill they're going to need for the rest of their lives. He's funny, but he also helps us to improve our numeracy and our maths. Two times tables get the best of me. Rap. Give yourself a clap. <laughs> It's all about giving back. Before I leave this earth, it's about knowing that I made a difference. So big up PT, and that means Prince's Trust. <laughs> very difficult and different. I'm just going to show my community that, you know what, if I can do it, we all can do it. And I have to say, for the Prince's Trust, OK. Thank you, thank you. All you children who are struggling with times tables and adults, because I know you're out there. <laughs> I know, I know. All you are struggling, it's not a problem, it's easy. And I'm going to make it a phenomenon where we can go around the world and we're going to put England back on the map for maths. Yeah. Yeah. 
actually know that you've won an award. We didn't send you a letter, we didn't ring you up or anything like that. We were a bit sneaky, actually, weren't very, we? Because we said, oh, actually, Clifford, could you go to St James's Palace? Because Prince Charles would like to learn about... I don't know whether he knows his times tables or not, actually, but he'd like to he learn about the tunes, does. times tables. He doesn't know, certainly. And for once, Clifford, you were left a little speechless. Shall we take a look? <laughs> Nine times two is 18. NK make a great team. Ten times two is 20. Just like Reggie and Betty, Dotty, Botty, Bertie, too. People around the world come join us, too. Brilliant. Thank you very much. What I wanted to tell you was, which you won't know, but you've been chosen as the, the Prince's Trust Achiever of the Year with the Pride of Britain Awards. So I just wanted you to know that due to all your hard work, they wanted to award you with that. So that's why you're here. I won? Yes, you did. Can you believe it? No. Well, you have. <laughs> Otherwise, all this lot wouldn't be here, I can assure you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. If you believe in yourself, you can reach for the stars. So to present your award, a man who actually can't even reach the light switch in his bedroom, it's the giant of comedy and Princess Trust Ambassador, Ronnie Corbett, together with the gorgeous Amanda Holden. <laughs> Well I think he might have put your business out of business, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> no, Carol inspired me. I've got a video at home with a, yes, with, so a, with, a with an old school of, a video when Carol's this lovely. And, um, I got it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, many, many congratulations <laughs> on much. behalf of the Pinch of Trust. Thank you very much. Which is really a fantastic job. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, Harding, everybody. <laughs> Up and down the country, people regularly...